Okay, I'll admit I never interpreted that panel that way, but I suppose it works. Before I open this discussion, this review of Arthur Pendragon from Versus Battle Wiki, please do me a favor and leave your own thoughts on Versus Battle Wiki interpretation of Arthur Pendragon in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Now, let's get into it. What's up, guys? I got Pencil here, and uh, yeah. I mean, I hope it lasts. I hope it lasts. If, if y'all know what I'm talking about, you're, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're about to find out now. I just hope it lasts. Let's just talk about Arthur. So first, pop off. Let's go Let's go with the images again. You know, they be smacking. You know, I like that image. I think y'all did tell me what game was from. I already instantly forgot because my brain's slow. But I do thank y'all for telling me the game that this is from. I do like the images from this game. They look rather clean, rather spicy. With Excalibur, I do like this image of Arthur. It's like the, I think it's like the only full body shot we do get of Arthur when he is in possession of Excalibur, so that's very, very good. I like that. Partial Chaos Absorbed. I mean, yeah, yeah, that is, by the time he does have Excalibur with the Dark and Light Wings, he does, he is in full possession of Chaos, but it, some of it had already been taken by Arthur, so to get this image, you would need to take the Armless Arthur. Then full Chaos Absorbed. Yep, this makes good sense. Like, we never got to see him. Then the only time we did get to see him, he was, like, flying midair, and it wasn't a good shot, and it didn't have Excalibur in it. Okay, so all the images, just fine. Is there, like, technically there should be, like, a pre-training and post-training state, I'm pretty sure, but it's, it's such a relevant difference that we really don't get to see much of, so I'm not surprised we don't have one. Yep, Teenage King of Camelot, who ascended the throne after drawing his sword, but no one else could. Although his optimist missing having good luck, he takes his duty to the king very seriously. Merlin is a close friend and advisor. After Camelot fell, the demon clan armed the form of underground resistance and saved many citizens, as well as underwent training from Nanashi. Yeah, that's, see, there's that training from Nanashi, and then there's also the training he did where he got Kath. Does Kath count as his standard equipment? Nah, I doubt that. But it is revealed that Arthur is a hero chosen to like Salabar, although he hasn't locked a full pencil within him. Yeah, I guess these summaries just aren't meant to mention Endgame. Except when they do. Whatever, that's fine. High 7C, high 7C, 6C, 6C. We know what we're here for. We're here for the up to 6C, 4C with powers because, um... Huh? <laughs> okay. So, yep. We have King of Chaos, King... King among Kings, Kings of Chaos. I thought, I thought that said Kings of Chaos. I'm like, plural? But... Thing is, yep, not to the Taizai, male, 16, 27 after time skip, human king, Camelot, king of chaos, yep, human, super reason, physical characteristics, ever since perception, extra swordsmanship, air manipulation, yeah, that's all facts. Let's see what the chaos king is. Superhuman physical characteristics, weather manipulation could turn Britannia. I feel like that's more than weather manipulation. I'm pretty sure that's reality warping. I don't think that falls under weather manipulation. What? Are there, it's not like when, if y'all remember that panel, it's not like Melios was just saying, oh no. He's going to make it rain acid. No, he was only going to change the fundamental properties of the world. Pretty sure that's reality manipulation, but sure, weather manipulation. Let's go with that first battle wiki. Transmutation. Chaos power is capable of transforming a rock into a bird and rising this up. Once again, like reality. I guess that falls into transmutation. Do they just not have reality warping? I'm pretty sure they do have reality warping as an ability here. That's literally what it is, but I guess. Sure. Transform in the horizon into several castles. Pretty sure he did. I, I'm pretty sure it's literally flat out stated he created those things. I'm not. I don't think he transmuted anything. He just used the creation powers. Whatever. Light manipulation and darkness manipulation. Chaos power he put day in the night and night in the day. Yeah, that's facts. Absorption. Chaos power is able to absorb cast. Yep, that's true. Non physical interaction. Chaos is a will. Has no physical form. I guess. He more so had Chaos, like, forced into him, but assumedly he would have the properties of Chaos, especially since we see what we see in Forest of the Apocalypse. Non-physical interaction, Chaos, so yeah. Creation created the world from nothingness. See, I guess, I don't think they have a Chaos tab on Versus Battle Wiki, so I guess they're just, like, folding all of Chaos's things into him, because technically Arthur created a world from nothingness. There was nothing there, and he made one. But I don't... He's not chaos himself. Immortality, transcend life and death, has a different type of immortality than Bond who regenerates. Pretty sure Bond did more than regenerating. Like his... Well, we, we can go into that another time. I'm going to explain Bond's immortality in another video anyway. But transcend life and death, yep. See, the transcending life and death thing, it's always been interesting because I, I heard like in original Japanese, it's like the concept of life and death, but then transcending life into death itself doesn't mean you transcend the concepts. Not that the English translation says, the official one. I'm not sure about the whole transcending life and death thing on like the scaling level. Like if we're really saying like Kath, Arthur, Chaos Family, like they're really above concepts and stuff like that. So I feel like it's not, but apparently I don't like, once again, I don't actually read Japanese. I, I don't know what the original Japanese translation says. So if it says concepts, go dummy. But if it doesn't, uh, I would say that's just like a higher level of immortality. Spatial manipulation. Could cut through cast dimension. Yeah, I guess, I suppose. Precognition. 
Precog? Yes. Yes. Dance of Evita. I, I, see, but, like, that's still under his human... That Yeah, that's more under his human characteriz characterization. That's not just Chaos King. Like, the moment he got regular Excalibur, he had a former precog with the Dance of Evita, I'm pretty sure. But neither here nor there. Illusion manipulation. Manipulation and illusion creation. Using the power of Chaos Cath could see possible outcomes of the future needs capable of creating illusions on the mind. Yes. That is true. That is facts. And I suppose Arthur would have the same ability. Chaos manipulation. Yeah. I mean, chaos. So, makes sense. Seems legit. Resistance to cold manipulation and radiation manipulation. Chaos was born amidst the ancient stars of the cosmos with the cable survive on the space. On the space? Or you mean in space? In the space. Typos. But whatever. It happens to the best of us. I read through some of my scripts and I'm like, why did I type this? So I can't even get mad at them for that. Radiation. Manipulation. But once again, does manipulation... No. Does resistance fall under manipulation? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Whatever. At least large town level. Yeah. <laughs> Like Hendrickson, the even beginning of series like human based Hendrickson who just had minor demon blood amps is definitely beyond large town level. But you know, I'm just it just apparently got downgraded. I still I made this do an entire video reading that thread. I probably will. I will just read the downgrade thread because I need to know what happened. Like I glanced at it, but I didn't read it in depth. I may do an entire video reading that. At least large town level effortlessly killed gray demons among other lesser demons. Y'all, y'all know, y'all been here in the community for a while. Y'all know they're like Red Demon country level calcs. We know Great Demons are stronger, so even though Red Demon solos, but still, you know, whatever. Sure, large town level casually slice apart base Chandler and Kusak, although they could easily regenerate. Facts, but I'm pretty sure even base Kusak and Chandler must suppress are beyond island level, but whatever. So wait, I'm so confused. So like, y'all are rocking with the idea. Like, hold on, y'all are rocking with the idea that true form Cath is star level off the statement where is it kath paul luke says he could kill everything with mount well i suppose kath is talking about with full chaos powers here because like and here's the thing about this panel like the reason like one i missed it for a fact like i'm warning you to quit fighting the inevitable no matter which route you take everyone eventually dies that goes for humans animals countries mountains forests lakes rivers stars and even gods so like i always took that as just like natural processes of life, everything's gonna die. I didn't think that as like Kath gonna be going out there and killing it all with chaos powers. But I suppose it does make sense when it's backed up by Kath saying he would destroy anything with a form. But the thing is, I never even considered stars. Like I, I just considered like the sheer wank possibility of that. Because technically, the universe, universe, <laughs> the universe has a form. So I thought Kath was gonna just like if you really want to wank seven deadly sins, you'd be like Kath is gonna destroy anything with a form. The universe has a form. Bada bing, bada boom. Universal seven deadly sins. I never took it into the fact that you just like lower that to star level off the previous statement. But I mean, I guess we can rock with that. Like, I'm not complaining. That's just more. That's just more above planetary seven deadly sins. It's more star level seven deadly sins. And you know, I'm the farthest thing from complaining about that. But here's where the issue comes in with versus battle. And the reason I think this isn't gonna last that long, or like isn't this wasn't something that was discussed, debated, or approved. No, once again, I don't know how the revision process fully works in Versus Battle Wiki, but I know you have to like put in a whole thread or something like that. But I think people can also just go in and edit it freely. But like here's the thing, Kath also says he would destroy anything with the form, which includes realms with stars and moons. And here here I'm thinking of, well, the only ones that we've seen with moon like we know the Celestial Realm should hypothetically have a star in it, but the only one we've actually seen with a moon like structure is the demon realm. Bad boy got two moons in it. Like, hold on. One moon. Two moon. So we we see that there are moons in the demon realm. And I don't know if y'all remember, but um, the demon king created the demon realm. But you know where they have the demon king? Large island level. Like, hmm? Like, so this is okay. But the, the demon king creating two moons is an outlier. Bare minimum two moons. Man created a whole planet, obviously, because you can't have moons unless they're rotating around something, which would be a planet. But, well, we won't even get into that. So at least the Demon King should be moon level. But look what happens when I look up the Demon King. Homie's still a whole large island level. Like, what are we doing here? That's why I think this is like someone snuck in and did this. Because to be fair, their argument makes sense. So they're not wrong on that front, but that doesn't just mean Chaos Arthur scales to that. That means every, well, not everybody, but 
at least if you're accepting whoop, let me just put an arthur pendragon because there are so many arthurs arthur pendragon but to be fair more than just big papa arthur should scale to this or at least to some degree of it and you got to realize the supreme deity and the demon king sealed away chaos so chaos isn't that much far above them or he may be, say he's twice as strong as both of them. Let's say that. Even still, they should scale to some portion of this, as they say themselves, Golly G. Willikers, large star level being. Hmm? Hmm? Is this like, am, am I tripping or something? Like, is that not how that works? Like, they've managed to seal this being away. And while Arthur is strong, I don't think he's like fully out the range of everybody just yet. Huh? Like, I don't know. Seems like more people should scale. It. And the main thing, fine. Even say, let's say Chaos is infinitely above every other character in the verse. Even though we know that's not true. He may be a good degree above, but also true Magic Meliodas was a good degree above both his father and the Supreme Deity. By a large degree, as we've seen. But even with that, if you're, if, if Versus by Wiki is accepting the moons, bro. If they're accepting the moons. And you take the moon, and you take the moon type B. Then the whole verse has to get stronger. Like, a lot of the verse. And then you can just start downscaling. Like, you can legit, like, large town level, it, 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 we, ain't, we, we ain't rocking with that no more. Forget large town level, island level. We ain't rocking with that no more. We got to get, and like, whole large star level, but still massively hypersonic. <laughs> not even, oh, we're not even going to get into speed, but let's just go over the rest of this profile, you know, large town level, blah, blah, blah. Island level has the full power of chaos and is far more durable than his previous one. But the thing is, though, the wild thing, maybe he didn't have control over it yet. But y'all realize, like, base baby calf is the person who ripped a chaos Arthur's arm off. He was able to damage this, as y'all say themselves, a full power Arthur should reasonably be at this star level. He was able to damage and rip the arm off this star level B. And, um, his baby calf was kind of fodder you can argue argue you well you can argue that arthur was off guard but like even still being able to do that pretty darn impressive you don't see that and another reason why i don't think this is really gonna stick but actually well yeah let me just show y'all the reason i don't think it's gonna stick so much let's go to seven early sins bro let's go to the origin and not to the so even when they have like outliers or god tiers and like this is an approved thing across the whole wiki they will update the power of the verse yeah, it still says that finally the gods here is our island level. Large island level. Huh? Like, really? So I don't, I mean, I hope it lasts. Like, you, trust me, you, you look at the wrong one. I would 100% prefer that the whole verse just gets back upgraded again. Because I don't know why they downgraded it. They were slowly getting to a more, at least in my mind, a more reasonable point. If you still want to lowball the verse, in my mind. But, you know, that's just my mind. Maybe I'm tripping. I've been tripping off a lot. I'm clumsy. But in terms of... Arthur, come back. Arthur, come back. Please, Arthur, I need you. Call me Merlin. Arthur. Arthur, bruh. That's it. I'm just going to pop you into the search bar. But yeah, in terms of like actually not sticking around. Eh. But now, shoot. Let me argue chaos Arthur in some versus battles, bro. I'm pulling up all the panels. But... Yeah, that, that's really it for the sheer power perspective. Range, very high. Stamina, very high. Yep, that makes sense. Body gives a breakdown to a brief fight. Not able to... Ha so, yeah, they, they need to update that. Extend the melee range of the sword. Extend the melee style. But reset the world and destroy all realms with their forms of structure. All these realms. All these realms. Yo. Yo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I just thought of something. If... If... Kath was like, yo, if Kath was spitting here, like, if Kath wasn't lying, I will destroy anything, anything with a form. And it's talking about all realms versus about a wiki. You realize Purgatory is a realm, right? You know, Purgatory, and it has a separate time space. It, we know it's a separate time space, not just a separate space, because the time flows differently there. Unlike the, the Celestial Realm and the Demon Realm, where... You can argue that they're just separate spaces, not a different time, because they flow linearly and same with the main world, and they're just separate realms. So, Purgatory still falls under a realm. 4D. 
Yo, yo, is it is it that time? Yo, I, I'm. It may be wanking time, boys. It may be wanking. So this is open my eyes. Yo, all your all your power skills out there. Let's get to wanking, boys. Let's get to wanking. It may be that time. But yeah, let's just go for the rest of Arthur. Like I don't know why this video just exploded to something it wasn't meant to be. Now even optimistic. <laughs> I love how they just say none notable. By end game, none notable. He's not strong enough to strain Excalibur on his body. So they did update some of, some of it. Only during Excalibur, blind swords encountering any of all manner of surprise attacks is done automatically. That's cool. Yep. So now I honestly want to see, since he has Chaos Amps now, and he should reasonably be able to handle all the techniques of the previous Human Kings. Like, I got to see a fight between Meliodas, Zeldris, and Arthur. Like, the two top swordsmen going, going up against a man with probably endless stamina, unbelievable durability, and a king who can automatically counter anything. And just, pure, like, Arthur's going to be dummy. Like, stupid dummy. Like, I can't wait to see him pop off in four nights. But yeah. That's it. If this does stick, if Versus Battle Wiki sticks with this and starts upgrading everybody, which they should pretty much have to after this. Golly, if you're if you're accepting main thing, if you're accepting these moons, bro, if you're accepting these moons, you gotta go dumb. Everyone else, everyone else got to get, you gotta start upgrading people. Let's get let's get to it versus battle. But if this just goes away, I equally wouldn't be surprised. But it's too late now. I've seen it. So and it's here now. So it's on it's on video. We see it. We got a seven million sense character on versus battle wiki. Up to large star level, which is higher than anything we've seen before. Where is it? Large star level. Higher than anything I've ever seen versus about Wiki Take. Seven W Sins. So I'm happy. I ain't complaining. If this sticks and when everyone gets upgraded, great. Fantastic. Then we gotta start working on speed. But other than that, yeah, this is really, really good. Um, they just need to update the rest. If this gets updated, I can imagine there's gonna be contention about this. I'm assuming not a lot of people agree with this. Especially considering the rest of the verses, the rest of the verse isn't updated yet. But hey, neither here nor there. I'm happy. I'm excited. But please, what do you guys think? Do you think this is gonna stick? Do you think it's gonna disappear? Do you think that the whole verse is gonna get upgraded? Do you think there's gonna be a long debate about Arthur getting downgraded? What do you think is gonna happen? Are you excited? I'm kind of excited. I'm gonna go dummy with the scaling now. We are gonna do some wanking, boys, y'all. Y'all, y'all don't hear me, bro. We are gonna do some wanking. Oh, and we can stack. Oh, yo, we can stack that with the Lady of the Lake statement for the destroying all forms. And if we can get the realm statement, we can get purgatory up in there and that can become consistent with the universe it's really, uh, okay i'm sorry i'm getting too excited thank you so much for watching please remember to like share comment and subscribe and please share your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching once again and i hope you guys have a wonderful day this is that guy the pencil writing off